Hi, it's Tansel here. Now I've got some cool stuff on my website that you can download for free and train your memory. So let's have a look and see how you can download them. Now, if you just jump onto my website, tansalali.com, uh, you can click on downloads or just go to downloads at the end. And if you scroll down, you'll have options there. Look at that. Random words, we've got easy, hard, harder. Then you've got your random digits and numbers. You've even got binary digits and also some random dates. Now, these are nonsensical because in sort of competition training, what happens is that uh, we don't get dates that people might know because that just adds to you know the knowledge component. And if people already know the dates, then they've got more of a chance of winning that event. So nonsensical dates just means that, you know, we're training our brain to see random bits of data. So it's a lot more difficult to do. Hence, the more you train it, the faster you get at processing this abstract data. I've also got in there things like memorizing your peg words, and I'll explain more about that in upcoming videos. But if you want to read more about it, you can jump on my website in the blog section uh, just there. And there's a section on how to create peg words. Um, I've also created a little guide for memory training for kids. So this is a good guide for parents. It's only a, you know, it's something small, so you don't have to read for pages and pages on hours on end. It's just a very short guide, just done on PowerPoint, just understanding how memory training works. And also memory training log. Um, I usually use it with my clients when I'm doing some memory training with them. Uh, and creating a log is really powerful. So you can analyze your training uh, and look at the bits of data and once you're looking at the bits of data, you can actually see, okay, what's working well, what's not working well, and then you can improve from that piece of data and, and you know, establish a pattern of, okay, here's how I work best. So that's just the downloads page. I'm gonna keep adding to this page as well. So keep an eye out on it. Um, these are all for free, so you don't have to sign up to anything. You know, feel free to share it amongst some friends of yours or colleagues or you know, whoever it is um, that you wanna share it with. It, it's quite valuable to be able to train. And when I first started, uh, I found just a couple of sites like this and it was the best thing ever. So I thought, you know, why not create something like this so people can actually, you know, use and download and uh, and train as well. So I'll show you how one of these look. I'll just click on download for the easy ones. Um, you can save it, I'll just open it up. Cool, so this is how it looks. Now I've got six rows of 20 words here. And uh, what you can do to train, and I'll, I'll create separate videos on this, is you can memorize in rows going down like this. I mean, you can memorize across, but you know, for competition and for training purposes, it's best if you do it this way because you're uh, essentially seeing the images in one go as opposed to trying to move your eyes across. Now, if you're using memory palaces or if you're using uh, other pig word systems, uh, you can train with that as well. Um, I'll be creating more videos on that in the time that comes. So feel free to just play around with these, look at some of the words. Like I said, this is just easy. Um, there are some words that are tricky as well that you'll have to really use your creativity. Uh, so for example, the word language is a little bit abstract. So you have to think, okay, what's going to be a good image for language? You know, is it a language you know? Is it a language book? Is it a, you know, a flag? So you've got your own image for language and uh, sometimes words like that, that are a bit more abstract, makes you think a lot more and think, okay, what, what's gonna be the image? So it takes a little bit of time. This is the easy one. The harder one's obviously got more abstract words and the hardest is just a whole bunch of words mixed together, um, abstract, some words I've never even heard of. So you can play around with that. So yeah, very quickly, that's the uh, downloads section on my website. Like I said, I'll be adding to this more and if you've got any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I mean, I'm happy to create some more resources for you to play around with. I use these for my own personal coaching with my clients and uh, you know some other websites and stuff as well, like Memory League. But this one, um, you can just download it, print it out to your heart's content, or just train online. Um, it's fantastic, and um, I've, I've been using it for years. So there you go. Anyway, that's it for me today. Hopefully that's uh, giving you something to work from and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.